Viewers continue to have a lot of questions from when to get a booster shot to whether it's really okay for certain people to stop wearing masks. And our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with answers, starting with a question about timing. Doc? Yeah, Kim. So Rita asks, a friend had COVID-19 in April and her doctor told her to wait three months before getting vaccinated. My son had COVID-19 at the same time and was not told to wait before getting vaccinated. Why is there a difference? So the answer, Rita, is I'm not sure why there was a different bit of advice given, but currently there is no need to wait after an infection is resolved. The only exception is if you received convalescent plasma or monoclonal antibodies as a treatment. Then a 90-day wait is recommended. Now here's some more of your questions. I've heard you say that those who are immune compromised should act as though they are not vaccinated, even if they are. How do you suggest those people handle everything opening back up again? Because there are no broad requirements for masking or distancing, it's up to the individual to protect themselves as they see fit. If you have any immune compromise with the possibility that you didn't respond optimally to the vaccine, you should continue to wear a mask, especially indoors when it's crowded. Whenever possible, you should also maintain distance from others. Anne asks, were any sickle cell patients part of the vaccine test panels? That was not specifically broken out in the Pfizer or Moderna trial data. There were 18 people with sickle cell in the Johnson & Johnson vaccine trial, but that's out of over 43,000 participants. Not enough to draw any meaningful conclusions. My parents got the COVID vaccine nearly six months ago. Do they need a booster shot to remain protected? The vaccine manufacturers are developing a booster if it should be needed. However, the need for a booster shot has not been determined. The CDC is actively assessing that question right now using data from people in the original clinical trials. Now, I've heard from a lot of seniors and others who were among those vaccinated first that are now concerned about when a booster might be needed. I absolutely promise you, as soon as any decisions are made about boosters, it will be widely covered in the media and you will definitely hear about it. Back we know you. you will keep us posted, Dr. McGeorge. You have been for the past 15, yeah. 16 months now. Thanks.